everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome to my channel. If you've not been here before, it's where I talk about twin flames, twin flame process, and also my own personal journey at times. Um, so this video today is going to be a reading for the current energy. I was uh, meant to put this out, I wanted to put this out on Monday, <laughs> like a weekly reading, which I'm going to try and do every week, but I wasn't able to. Um, one reason being that my neighbour's putting a bathroom in, so it's quite noisy. Uh, it's quietened down now, but at first I think he was knocking a wall down, <laughs> so that was quite noisy. And um, the other being, I've been, um, oh, my, if you've watched me before, you'll know that I've been following my guidance since I was brought into the awareness of this process, which is about 2012, and it increased, the energy increased, so following the guidance... And just doing what my guides told me is now the only way that I that I live, and they brought in this new work for me, which is really intricate and um, detailed. Uh, so that's take that took up quite a lot of my time over the weekend and into the beginning of this week. So another reason I had to be focused on that. They do tend to bring things in without much notice. So. Um, you know, and it's just, I have to go with the feeling while it's there, whilst I'm being asked to do it, so I had to prioritise that really. So, um, and of course information's coming in all the time around um, freedom, freedom for humanity, so if you've watched me before, you know that we're here, Twin Flames are here as like leading edge creators of the vibration, uh, which the whole of humanity will function from, so it's a vibration of freedom where anything's possible where life can be lived and um, through feeling good and an amazing life can be brought through that so it's like loads and loads of rewards in the physical world coming from a, a higher vibration <clears throat> so um, this is really moving along now this energy so we're looking at um, around May time so I've got about March, April, two weeks left now, just about two weeks of February, about two and a half months of things moving forward towards what is going to be really good energy in May. So that's what they're telling me as well. They're also talking about reunions in May. They told me mine's in May. <laughs> and um, just to let you know, really interesting how they told me that, because I was actually going to do a group re read it. When they said May to me, I was going to do a collective reading, and I started to do it, videoing it. And as I put down the middle card, I just got completely sucked into that card. And it's uh, it became into my personal stuff, like really, because a lot of my personal is collective, because I experienced the whole collective energy through my personal life. <laughs> but this was like, um, it was really funny, because I was looking at the card and I got pulled into it. And um, and then I was like, oh, feels like a used car salesman. <laughs> so obviously that's not for the whole collective. So in May, I'm going to meet a used car salesman, basically. So I had to scrap that for the collective. But, you know, sometimes with your union, what happens is um, you get two people coming in. Uh, at the same time, they told me that before, one is like a heart opener. So if you watch my video on karmics and heart openers and false twins, one will be a heart opener. So this is like a really big bundle of love coming in to like, a, it's like a safe feeling of safety, feeling like you're able to love again kind of person. And then um, the other one comes in as your twin, who was probably the one that was like that, but with sharp edges is how I like to see it, say it. Because they're like, you know, there's love there, but they have these sharp edges that are jaggedy that can cut. Um, and that is when you're first going through the twin flame process and you're not able to, it can't glue together because you've got the energetic work to do inside of yourself. And that's generally during separation. And in fact, I've read so many people now on their process that I know and really clearly see that the separation is almost um it's inevitable and it has a, a distinct purpose when you go into separation so um and that has to happen for you to reformulate your vibration so that you can then have what you want from the twin flame connection in the physical world so um 
and there's a definite reason for separation that is about reunion uh, so yeah just to say that as well so when you get towards the end of your process and you start to really see why everything's happened to you from like a much higher level and a broader perspective then you see that for yourself maybe as well and maybe even you know the energy of the people coming towards you and what they're coming towards you for i.e. the heart opener and then when you get in that come towards you you'll know as well you're going to get your twin come towards you because that happens at the final one you might get a few heart openers through the years but you get a final one that is then it's pretty much the same time as the twin is what they're telling me um, so you know never to worry really about your process just to read the energy of what's coming towards you and to understand it has a uh, has a function in terms of your process that everything has a reason because a lot of the time when I read for people as well they come to me with worries about what's going on because they're worried um, because they're getting confused but you must never get worried and never be just let yourself let go <laughs> let go of confusion when it comes to you so know that you're confused and then just be like I've got to let go of this and let go sometimes you need to give yourself a bit of a talking to as in telling yourself to let go because the only person that can make you let go really is you anyway let's get the cards out for this week I'm going to put videos out about all these things letting go and um, I think there was another one I was going to put out I can't remember now okay so we're looking at this week what do we need to know love unconditional love ace of cups eight of swords this is worry in the mind transformation death card let's move these a bit the sun really good energy Two of Swords, which is the head over the heart, it's the ego and the heart, so it's two separate functions, and the world, which is freedom. Five of Cups, which is the inevitability of the Twin Flame process, so it's a love that still stands in the background that you can't see with your physical eyes all the time, because it's not in your physical life, and this person you can see is purging. <laughs> in that card as well so they're really going through it like a lot of torment and a lot of grief and a lot of sadness and a lot of loss the fall a brand new journey in terms of inside the mind and what goes on there and then high priestess which is your higher function functioning from your higher self so that is the point of let go and seven of wands which is um barriers and defenses and resistance so um what they're saying here basically we're looking at head and heart so we're looking at two different completely different separate functions this week so we've got the mind and the mind can overwork as you know and when a mind overworks what it does is it creates a lot of confusion and stress inside you so it creates stress in the physical body and it creates confusion in the mind when it's overworking um, and it circulates worry and fear and things that are really not beneficial to your energy body so your energy body your vibration needs to be through this process cleared of worry and fear so just look at what's going on in your mind this week and where you might be in worry and fear and understand that on this journey your purpose your journey is for you to move towards the heart you see here they've got the heart underlying the mind the mind is the swords and the heart is the moon in the background so you've got to move towards your heart so it doesn't mean you have to put a get an answer to the worries and the fears because you'll never find an answer in the mind not not around twin flame pro purpose you won't because it's an energetic purpose so the answers are always going to come from um, vibrational understanding vibrational understanding is tuning into source energy is clairvoyance clairaudience claircognizance clairsentience and just uh, which will be feeling something or just knowing something without any reason or logic to know it um, so those are the higher that's your higher guidance right 
So in terms of how you put an end to worry inside your head, worry and fear, you can't outthink it. Because if you try to outthink it, you'll just run around in a circle in your head, going from the worry and the fear and then trying to address that with an answer and logic, logicize it or rationalize it through your head. It's an endless circle of running around and you get nowhere. The only thing you can do is let go. So letting go is not finding an answer to something because the whole point of this journey that you're on is to come into the understanding that the let go is being able to let go without having to have an answer that comes from the mind. <laughs> So your reason for existing as a forerunner of the new energy that all of humanity will use, which is vibrational energy, which is let go, is you understanding I have to let go of all my thoughts because that's what I'm here to do. See, and then move to your heart and your heart is just feeling good. It's about feeling good. So you could be, for example, this week in the middle of doing something Right, You might be using your mind for something that's a logical function, like counting numbers or making a list. Or maybe you're using an, a computer program, an Excel program or something you know, that takes a lot of concentration that can be quite confusing um, in terms of like using your mind. It can also be quite tiring in terms of using your mind. So if you're doing anything this week that's tiring out your mind because you're having to use your logical and your rational th facilities, in terms of work in any way, then just understand all you need to do is the, what you need to do, right? So if you get really tired halfway through a job that is in using your logical, logical, rational mind and you get really tired and you get confused and you're like, this is, and then you start to lose your vibration because you, you're like getting frustrated or you're getting angry or you're just feeling annoyed, then let go and just stop doing whatever it is and just put it aside and come back to it later and go and work on your vibration instead. So go and lie down, take time out, release resistance, resistance underneath everything. Releasing resistance is about getting into a better vibration and that means that you've got to look after yourself, you've got to look after your physical body, you've got to let go in the mind, you've got to stop using the mind for its whatever it's doing, stop thinking and go and just be in your heart energy. So. Uh, thing we speak about these nearly every video, right? Salt baths are really good. <laughs> Lying down, listening to music, or one of those recorded uh, meditations, a guided meditation. All those things are really good. Listening to those binaural beats, uh, theta healing, that's really good. Um, anything that's just like you just shut down. Drinking wine is very good if you can tolerate it. Not everybody can, or any kind of alcohol if you can tolerate it. And obviously not to excess because you're not, you know, it's not about um, harming yourself. It's just about a gentle relaxation. So just something gently. That CBD oil seems to be quite good. I've been using that lately for relaxing. Apparently that attaches to loads of receptors in your body. And then it just like, whoa, <laughs> you just let go, right? Um, so that can be really good. But it's got to start with the mind. So you've got to just encourage yourself to let go. You have to, it's about self-talk. You have to be like, okay, what am I doing here? I'm really trying to, I'm thinking and the thinking's hurting me. So I must just stop thinking. You've got to notice how it feels in your physical body when you're thinking. If you're thinking it's feeling all right, because you're using your mind and you're using it for something and you're in an enjoy, enjoyable place with that, you're increasing your vibration. So that's okay. But if you've overused your mind, and you're no longer feeling good because you're using your mind, then it's affecting your vibration in the opposite way. So you need to just shut yourself off from that and go and relax and just get out of thinking and come back to it later when you feel better. So that's the first thing, right? This is like in your daily life, new journey around the mind because it's not even about just the end point of the energy you're in right now and how you use your mind right now. And the fact that it's better for you to not be in your mind when it's hurting you, when it's hurting your physical body, when it's making you feel stressed and achy and annoyed or furious or whatever. It's not just about that current moment that it's doing that. It's about the fact that you're here to understand 
that your vibration is the most important thing about you and how you feel is the most important thing therefore because that's what creates a vibration so letting go in the mind is a re is your point of reference at all times at all times on your journey you know not just um um just because you're you're suddenly aware of it and you have to and you're like it's really hurting right it's like no it's like every single day what comes first must be the vibration so every single day you know people go through uh, portals on this journey where they appear to be really stuck in their lives and nothing's going on and I remember a year and it was last year which I look back on now and for a lot of the first part of that year and, and actually the year before as well the end of that year before I was doing nothing all day but getting up in the morning and um, the energy, you know, it wasn't like I was moving anywhere or doing anything. I had no work to do particularly. I was told to stop going on YouTube, um, that kind of stuff. And um, I was just in a, this energy of letting go all day and letting go all day and that was it. And, um, you know, looking back on it now, I'm like, oh, that was really nice. <laughs> that, at the time I was complaining about it because it's like I feel stuck a lot of the time. And what's going on? It's like life's not moving. Um, but now looking back on it, I'm, I'm like, that was really lovely to be able to just do nothing like that and to understand and be taught how to let go and be in a let go energy the whole time. So once you learn that and you learn it facilitates your vibration, you have to you have to put make that a priority. It's your work here. It's what the journey's about. So until you learn to let go, you're not going to fulfill the expectation that's at the end of the journey, which is a physical reunion. Because you have to have learnt to let go before you can get to that physical reunion. And what are you letting go of? You let go of everything that makes you feel bad. Absolutely everything. And that starts with how you talk to yourself in your head and how you make yourself feel bad with what you say to yourself in your head and the pressure that you put on yourself in your head. And when you feel frustrated and when you feel angry, so you've got to learn how to not f fulfill that ambition from inside of yourself and go towards just the feeling good, right? So we've got that showing up right now there, resistance towards feeling good. So you might have that coming in this week. And that's just, that's an all time experience anyway. But as we're moving towards May, these things are going to speed up and these things are going to become more until you understand that that's the work that you have to do around it is letting go because as we come towards the middle of this year they are going to be expecting us they being the Pleiadians the guides are going to be expecting us to be getting into our physical reunions and um, this whole Covid thing as well is going to be we're going to be working our way out of that as well as we come to the middle of this year so we'll have a lot more freedom to move around the planet and move around, especially within our own countries at first in the middle of the year and then you know later on a little bit around the planet even more and um, as these vaccines are all rolled out and that's going to take care of that and so ex that's when physical reunions as well will be coming in because it's going to be a, a set free moment for everybody and that's the set free moment that we created through the energetic work that we do of letting go so it's a reunion point for us as well. So, um, so your vibration, right. So it's taking care of vibration first of all this week. And that's a given any week, but they're talking about it now because we're rolling it forward. They're talking about, they t they're calling it a roll, roll for, a roll over week, right? So every week from now towards May is going to be a roll over week in how is your energetic work proceeding. And how is your vibration proceeding rather than um, focusing on dwelling in the past or dwelling on the negativity or anything like that. As you roll it forward every week, you're rolling into better and better energy. So take note of how, the, how you create that energy inside of yourself and you'll roll towards your physical reunion because physical reunion is all about vibration. Okay, so that's that there. Um, we've got Ace of Cups here, so this is also freedom, it's unconditional love, which is oneness, which is source energy. And then we've got here High Priestess, High Priestess is following that energy, it's your route forward and it's the feminine nature. And it is um, 
inside of yourself how you connect to your authentic self which is your vibration which is the feeling good point now sometimes on this journey in fact most of this journey until right at the end <laughs> we could say all of this journey till right at the end right is about you not knowing what the end is going to be and about you not knowing the outcome and about you not being able to because when you've got a particular outcome right twin flame reunion you've been in separation and um, some people have been in separation for a really long time some people have um, not been in separation long enough right so there's two ends of the extreme with that so the people that have been in separation for a really long time when you're in separation you're doing energetic work so your energy leaves your body and it goes around the world and it heals the world that's one example of it you're healing the whole of humanity so um, that's what's being done whilst you're in separation in doing that you're moving towards your physical reunion because the end of your energetic work is your physical reunion you're also moving towards let go and what you let go is of everything that hurts you everything that harms you and that includes your twin so when you begin these twin flame connections and there's a lot of triggering and wounding and that's the sharp edges we talk about that's coming through that connection even though the love underneath the authenticity of oneness lies underneath all that where you're feeling those sharp edges, the, guide, the guidance is to let go of that because it's always going to be to let go of anything that hurts you. So the ones that let go and go into separation and have a thorough letting go, then work energetically. And as they're working energetically, they're also working on clearing. And as they work on clearing, they're also letting go. So you could say, in fact, the longer you're in separation, the closer you are to reunion. <laughs> Right, because you're doing more energetic work on letting go, and nobody can say how much energetic work you've got on letting go because everybody's different. Some people don't seem to have a lot, and some people have a have a lot. Uh, it's just the way it is, and it's not an, anything that we should be getting into. Like, oh, that's better or that's worse, or we should be more worried or less worried about any of that. It's just how it is. Some people have very very specific works to do. Like for example, I've had to come here and do a YouTube channel and put out lots of information over several years. And that wasn't something that I was consciously intending to do. It just happened and, it, and that's what I've had to do. And then come back to it right now and do it again. So, um, but I can't say, well, I don't want to do that. I do want to do that. It's just what I have to do. And so, um, and you'll have things like that come to you, no doubt. And then the periods where you feel you're stuck and nothing's going on in your life, it's because the energetic work's being done. You see, so um, as you move towards the end of the journey and you move towards your reconciliation in the physical world, you're going to feel the point of let go inside of your energy body. So it means that you're cleared of anything that harms you. And in that, you have nothing to worry about. You let go of all the people that ever hurt you or harmed you, or the relationships that ever corded you into worry or fear or stress, including your twin. Um, you let go of all that, you let go of every job, every situation, every event in your life. And this is also the energy around events in your life that are past. So rather than looking back and being like, oh, that happened to me, that was awful, and feeling it all over again, because when you focus on something like that, you feel it again, it goes into your energy body, it's like knives digging in. So you're guided to let go of absolutely everything, everything, everything that ever was, and then not think about the things that were, it's like we say, when you think, you're inviting it back in again. So your energy is freed up completely. So you roll towards the end of this process in a thorough let go of anything that's ever harmed you, either physical, um, through the mind, which creates it in the energy body, or through the heart, where you're in the feelings of it, where you feel the despair and the loss and the longing of what you have lost. Because you can, at the end of this process, just before reunion, you will have certainly lost your twin, but your energy will be cleared around any feelings of loss as well. So you can see how really important the separation is for you to clear everything. Can you clear that in five minutes? Possibly. Possibly you can. If you're getting the information that they're saying right here, and then you're going towards that information with a thorough understanding of, I need to clear everything from my vibration that is loss, that is despair, that is anger, that is grief, that is sadness everything from my mind that creates that as well then yeah maybe you can so you know but that's where you get to at the end of this of point of this journey and then you have complete knowingness which is what this is down here in the high priestess and complete knowingness is knowing that your your vibration is ready 
It's not knowing about the physical reunion coming because that will go into the mind and it'll start to cord you into the mind. So, you know, um, it's the, just the knowing that your vibration is ready. So your vibration will rise to a point where you're in laughter all the time, you're in fun all the time, you're in joy all the time, you're in happiness all the time. You're not corded by the past, you're not corded by your mind, you're not corded by the present, any triggers there. Peripheral energy, they call it, because there's always peripheral energy you know, uh, like around you, like tripping up or missing the bus and things like that when you're walking down the road, you know, peripheral and not getting annoyed and triggered about those things. And when you're thoroughly cleared and your vibration's high, it's time for a reunion. Um, so just know that we're rolling that forward as well. And every week we roll it forward. So the work in doing that is a continual work until it's cleared and you're at that point. And that's when your, um, your reunion occurs. And the thing is, your when you roll to the end of this process your mind is freed of any thoughts of reunion and it's a really really weird thing because you know it's coming but you're freed of any thoughts of it right when i did the reading that started off as a collective and then it turned into one for me <laughs> about the used car salesman <laughs> which just makes me laugh you know because um how could that be so particular that they're talking about you're going to meet a used car salesman <laughs> and shake hands with him and it's going to grow into like some kind of love and this is the this is the heart opener that's coming along with a twin that's coming because it's not like I think I don't think about it in that oh my god I wonder where he is I wonder who he is I wonder where it's going to meet him am I going to meet him now is it going to come soon I'm not thinking like that and I'm not thinking as well because the other a root of that would be you're thinking but I don't want him I want my twin I want the other one and then you get all stressed and worried about that all I am is in this like bemused like every time I think about it, it just makes me laugh out loud because it's so hilarious that they would have told me that it's a used car salesman like down to that like ninth degree of who it's going to be it just makes me laugh every time so you got to understand, right, that you're in this process to really come into a lot of joy and a lot of happiness and to let go of all this t torment that you create in your mind around what is your physical reunion. Because by the time you get to your physical reunion, you will not have that torment in you. So know that. You won't have that torment in your mind. So know that that's got to go because it's not the point of reunion. All right. And roll that over to next week and keep working on that and working on that because that's going to, what's going to take you there. Okay. Knowingness is not thinking, basically. Transformation of what can be felt but isn't seen. So you're transforming all the time. So you're never not transforming on this journey. Let me just put one more down on these. So this is about the purge, basically. So you, as you move through the energetic process of twin flame, you go from a very low point. You can see it on a barometer, basically. You can see it on a sliding scale. That would be a better way of describing it. A sliding scale, which we've shown you before, but I think I'm getting a lot of new viewers, so I'm going to show it again. Um, the sliding scale would be when you start these twin flame processes, you start in dark energy here, <laughs> the start point. You're surrounded by dark energy in the form of thoughts and actions, other people's actions, other people's thoughts. It's really debilitating. It makes you small. It constricts your energy body. It's, it's pressure from the outside, pressuring you. It's resistance from the outside, pressuring you. And because of that, there's resistance inside of you coming through your mind. And you worrying and stressing and being in really negative energy because of the outside um, pressure. And then you've got, you move through the journey and that your actual process is moving into the heart as the feminine. So it's releasing all this from the mind and it's coming into a better feeling place and more into the heart for yourself and self-love. So you can see there's the letting go of all of this from outside of you, all these people, all these places, all these events, not only in the form of them and that, but also in the form of how you relate to it inside your head. So never thinking about the past as you move through the process. You will move through. You'll go between heart and head. You will revisit what's in the head. You will revisit the past experiences of your life. You will think about them. You will clear into more self-love after thinking about them. That's what they call the purge. So your vibration will go up and down. Dark energy to light energy as you move through the process. This can go on for years. It goes on since birth. Birth. Right, and until you're basically at the end of the process, which is where you're in heart energy all the time, heart energy for you, 
pure empathy for you, loving yourself so much that you couldn't possibly love anybody else, basically, is how it feels. And that means that you don't need anybody else. So you clear through to this energy of just resilience, survive, thriving, not surviving, a resilience, really profound energy, vibration. And it's all about, it's all coming from the self-love that, that you have. And you don't need to revisit it all the time and do that healing anymore. Because maybe on this journey as well, there's a lot of healing around, you know, loving the self that goes on for some people. I think actually for everybody, really. But they do it in different ways. So it's not always seen the same way. But you just come into this energy then of not having to do that anymore. And the self-love is complete. And you just feel great all the time. And you just feel like, you, it's like the whole journey's over. So you don't revisit the past anymore in your head and you don't feel that way about yourself anymore that it was connected through your mind, through everything that was around you in the dark that made you dark in, the dark go inside of you and you have to fight it there. So you come to a thorough transformation inside of yourself and in doing that as a feminine creator you're drawing the masculine along into their transformation for themselves as well. So they're coming into pure heart energy as well. Um, without even knowing it or working on it. So it's all energetic, all right? So always transforming, always transforming. Love, steps towards love in the Page of Cups. So first of all comes the inner child. Um, so I'm just thinking of this song that's just cro cropped up. Um, it's an Ella Fitzgerald song and it's about um, first comes love. Like she, she sings about uh, when love comes, you can't do anything about it, basically. Uh, so uh, it's like steps towards new love, right? So you have to separate to transform steps towards new love and get it right, justice, getting it right. So know that if you're in a separation, like I say, it's rollover week. Some people are going into what we could term mini separations because if you haven't gone into the full separation that you needed to go into, if you've been having contact with the twin, um, and this can include, and not excluding, any way that you've been cording yourself to that twin by trying to find out what's going on with them, by looking in Facebook, by looking at Twitter, by asking friends, by sneaking on them in the, Googling them. <laughs> I've done all these things myself a long time ago now, but I've done them all myself. So I'm not calling anyone out. I'm just saying that you cord yourself to a physical experience with that, and it means that you're not in the let go. All right, so there's a lot of mini separations coming in to make people let go. So don't focus on the fact that you've had to go into separation and that being a negative. Because you have to go into separation because you have to let go. So focus on your letting go. What else do you need to let go of? What haven't you let go of that makes you feel bad? It's like you've got to go through all your bathroom cupboards and all your bottom drawers and you've got to search for these things that you need to let go of. Find them and let go of them. Throw them out in the trash. It could be a relationship with somebody that, it, you know what, it could be a relationship with someone that you actually no longer speak to that's still in your phone. You've still got the phone number. Get rid of the phone number. It could be a relationship with somebody, you know, that made you feel bad, that was never right, um, that's gone forever. And you know it's gone, but you're still sending a Christmas card. Let go. I mean, you know... Um, Speaking personally, I had to let go of my brother, and it's been a, a two-year process. At first of all, I had to re-find him again after 23 years of absence, and then I had to let go of him all over again. And the la final let go came just actually last week because it was his birthday. So I sent a final birthday card saying that I would be moving on. Uh, no more, no more cards needed to be sent because we'd been sending each other cards for about two years, and that was all not talking. And that I would catch up with him later. And later meaning when we both transform back into energy. <laughs> I didn't put that. But, you know, final let go went there. Because the cards can't keep going back and forth when there's no reason for that. It's negative energy. It's got to go. So look at what you need to let go of. And thoroughly let go of. And what you haven't let go of yet. And let go of it. And then when you've let go of everything outside of yourself, let go inside yourself. Of whatever you need to let go of there. Any thoughts about the twin? Any thoughts about separation being wrong? Any thoughts about um, whether they're coming back or not? Let go around that. Let go of trying to find out about them. Let go of trying to talk about them. Talk to them. Let go of trying to look at them anywhere on Facebook. Anything like that. Let go. 
okay because the where you focus into the physical like that you're causing resistance in the vibration and the vibration takes care of reunion not what you do physically that actually competes with the vibration so you've got to let the vibration take care of everything okay um let's go we've been here we've been here well this speaks for itself the sun is really good energy this week like i say it's a rollover week <laughs> in us moving towards physical reunion and the world is freedom and what that entails is moving towards more freedom so again the let go the let go comes before the physical reunion that's why you've got to let go that's why you've got to let go of it all that's why you've got to go into a separation if you've just in, uh, entered into a mini separation rejoice because it will mean that you're closer towards physical reunion so in your mini separation what do you need to let go of what harm was being done to you through that connection where they weren't with you fully in the physical because if they weren't with you completely in the physical that means they were resisting being with you in the physical which means that you were in resistance in your vibration because otherwise they would be with you in the physical so you now separate you go into focusing on your vibration making yourself feel good letting go and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it and don't keep checking the emails and don't keep checking the texts because if you do that, you're being physically focused and it won't do you, it don't, won't serve you at all. As you let go and let go and thoroughly let go, they reformulate their vibration and come towards you. Okay? Completion, ten of pentacles in the physical world. So you've got to achieve liberation. Liberation is your freedom, your freed vibration, where you're feeling great and you're not corded by mental energy, thinking or feeling through your heart of anything that doesn't feel like love for the self. All right, so the completion is the love for the self completely and let go six of swords let go of what's in the mind so quite clearly um moving towards more thorough thoroughly cleared energy of let go anything else i'll just go on here first destiny showing up on the eight of swords so it will be and work new journey you see it's not like um you can't know before the event, right? So with the twin flame process, you can't have the answer before the journey, the process is complete. So you can't have, like you can be told a million times, a million times over a certain amount of years or months that you're gonna reun reunite with this person in the physical. But it won't matter a damn thing how many times you're told that until you understand that the work is about letting go. Because the destiny will not arrive until you've let go. The work, the destiny, right? So that's why you get told a million times that you're going to reunite, but you still don't reunite. It's because you haven't let go. So that's basically why that is. But every week is a rollover week with this jackpot <laughs> of physical reunion. Okay? Happiness, the sun, good vibration and happiness. And when you're, when you're thoroughly happy, inside yourself in a state of let go because you don't need that thing in your life that you thought there was the thing that was going to complete you that you think it's, it's a carrot hanging on the stick at the end of your nose or the apple on the tree that is too high to get to right you don't need that thing anymore and you're not focused on it at all anymore and you're just getting on with happiness and joy that's when that thing arrives and that's about anything at all not just reunion physical reunion with your twin but absolutely everything at all that you've ever wanted or desired in your life including money, cars, riches, houses, all that physically focused stuff that it's not wrong to want and it's not wrong to desire, right? So look at where you are around that energy as well and how you feel about that. And if you are in some kind of spiritual conundrum that tells you you should be suffering for your gains because it is not true. <laughs> We're not here to suffer. We're here to thrive. We're here to have everything we want. And as we have everything we want, everybody else will have everything they want to. And we will all thrive. So we're not supposed to focus on our own suffering because then everyone else will continue suffering forever as well. So it's empathy first. It's put your own oxygen mask on first. And then you'll be able to reach out and help everybody else. And I know twins that are already doing that as well. So the further you get towards ultimate empathy for yourself, the more you move into compassion for others that's coming from an uncorded, energy where you're not in pain the world romance so as you come into freedom so the love comes right and then comes love from outside of yourself two swords 
what's on its way, three of wands, that's on the horizon, resistance underneath, and then we've got fruition in the physical world. So you've got to clear the resistance, and now you know what the resistance is. It's anything that doesn't make you feel good. There's no questions asked. So it's go, you go by your feelings. So you don't need to ask somebody, I think this makes me feel bad, should I let go of this? If it makes you feel bad, you let go of it. You can have like um, a narcissist, they're like clowns, right? Who doesn't like clowns? Who's scared of clowns? Because narcissists are like clowns. They've got smiley face on and they come towards you and they're just looking like a barrel of fun, but really they're going to stick a cream pie in your face as soon as they get near you, right? That's what clowns are like. So clowns... <laughs> um, because they've got a fake smiley face pointed, painted on them, right? So something looks like it's a happy thing that you should love it and it, it should be making you feel good, but it feels like daggers sticking in your body. That is not something that makes you feel good. So let go of it. <clears throat> go by your clearing. When you clear, you clear through your physical body. You'll notice your physical body feeling so much better when you let go of everything that pains you, the cords that pain you. All right, so that's it for this week. Um, yeah, masculine is rising into vibration. They say the masculine is inside of you, just for the people that have only just started watching me. The masculine is not something outside of you that you need to know about from another person, your twin. The masculine is inside of you. It's your mind. Your mind is your masculine. Your heart is your feminine, and you need to go towards your heart. And if you do that, the one that you're connected to outside of yourself will also go towards their heart. But you cannot get there by going towards their heart. You have to go to yours. You go to your heart, they will go to their heart. And then two hearts can meet. You see? And um, when you go to your heart, like I say, it can't be about that person. It has to be about yourself. And this is destiny. You will get there. So the sooner you know that and you get on with the work of that, and start, stop fighting against it and trying to love the person outside of yourself more than you're loving yourself, the sooner that you will be with that person outside of yourself. That's all it is. It's quite simple. It's a simple, as far as energy goes, log log logistical experience. But you've got to understand that it, that's how it works, right? And then start to work with that understanding. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Lots of love. Take care. See you next week sometime. Bye.